In the previous video, I've shown you how to convert base 10 to other bases, for example, base 8, base 2, and also base 5. And in this part of the series, I'm going to show you how to convert base 2 to base 8 in a shortcut manner. Okay, let's look at this example. We have here 101110 base 2. We have to convert this to base 8. So how do we convert that? Using the conventional method, we can actually convert base 2 to base 10 and follow by converting it to base 8. So this involves two steps. So here from base 2, converting to 46 in base 10, the working is in blue and followed by conversion of base 10 to base 8, which is in the orange words. Okay, so this is actually a two-step method. So if I were to tell you there's actually a second method, okay, it is much faster. Would you like to learn it? Okay, so in fact, by knowing a second method, you can actually do a cross-checking or double-checking using both methods to confirm your answers. So let's, to, let, uh, let's take a look at this example. You have here 101110. And using this method, we have to use a long bar here, separating every three numbers. Okay, so every three numbers starting from your right, you separate into one, two, three, three numbers, and followed by another one, two, three. So the next step will be, you can write 2 to the power of 0, 2 to the power of 1, 2 to the power of 2, and followed by 2 to the power of 0, 2 to the power of 1, 2 to the power of 2, okay, on this next line here. So what you need to do now is, you need to multiply this number by this number. Okay, I repeat, you need to multiply this row of number with this number here. So let's say if you have 0, when you multiply by 2 to the power of 0, you get 0. It should be a 0 here. 1 times 2 to the power of 1, you get a 2. 1 times 2 to the power of 2, you get a 4 here. So the next line, you can write it as such. 0, 2, 4. And then 1, 0, 4. So the next step is you add these three numbers in each bar together. Okay, so in this first bar here, you can add 4 and 2 together, you get a 6. 4 and 1 together, you get a 5 here. So therefore, your final answer will be 56 in the base of 8. That's the final answer. So let's try another example. Here I have 1000111111. Okay, so every three numbers, you separate them. Okay, starting from your single digit uh, on your right side. So one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three. So let's say if there's actually another digit at the front here, so this will become another new bar here. Okay, so the next line, you write all this number, two to the power of zero, two to the power of one, two to the power of two. Okay, in this sequence here. So next, remember, what do you need to do? You need to multiply the numbers together. Therefore, you get the next line of 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 0, 0, 0, 4. Okay? So, and because this is 0, 0, when you multiply this number, you also get a 0 and 0 here. And the last one will be 2 to the power of 2 times 1, you get a 4. Okay? So that's how we get this third row of the number. So the next step will be you add each bar numbers together. When you have 4, 2, 1, it becomes a 7. This becomes a 3, and this becomes a 4. Okay, only 4 is available here. And that's your final answer, which is 4, 3, 7 in the base of 8. Okay, next we move on to conversion of base 8 to base 2. How do we do that? Okay. Um, for this case, here we use the previous example, which is 56 here. Yeah? Okay, now when you have base 8, each number consists of one bar. 
okay? So you separate each number using a bar here. And on your second row here, you can put one, two, four, one, two, four. You may pause the video if you think that my explanation is fast and you can actually uh, re-watch uh, re again the video, okay? So here I have written here, one, two, four, one, two, four here. Okay, now you need to deduce the number. So what numbers make up six? Okay, what numbers make up six? You can actually use four plus two. So four plus two equals to six. Therefore, at the bottom here of four and two, you add a one and one here. And if you are not using this one, you put a zero. Okay, so that's how it looks like. And for the digit five, what constitutes a five? You use four plus one equals five. And so therefore, below four and one, you put a one and one with zero below two. So therefore, you have this series of number one, zero, one, 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 zero. Okay, and the next example will be four, three, seven. Again, you put one, two, four, one, two, four, one, two, four. So what constitutes seven? It is four plus two plus one. Therefore, you are putting one, one, one below. If it's for three, you only put one, one at the bottom of two and one. And lastly, for number four, you only put a number one below four here. So because two and one doesn't constitute the number of four. So this will be the final answer, which is one zero 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 one one and triple one at the back here. And that is your final answer. Thank you for watching.